all intrigued by the team's list in terms of the players that they're project protecting with the mm -hmm. expansion draft looming. Big surprises. Are you hearing any names that surprise you? You know, I, I think this will filter out uh, over the next uh, 24 hours before the league comes out. Uh, I think one of the names is is definitely Tarasenko. It sounds like St. Louis has not protected him. And I'm very curious to see what's going to happen here. And if any way St. Louis is going to incentivize uh, Seattle not to take him. I think this is something St. Louis could do potentially trade-wise. So I'm very curious to see how this is going to work. I think another one is Zadorov from Chicago. Um, you know, Chicago at this point in time hasn't extended him. I think that St. Louis, uh, Seattle, excuse me, is a team that's going to try to build from the blue line. That's Ron Francis's history. So those are a couple of names that I'm curious about right now. I'm also curious about the goalies. Uh, Jake Allen from Seattle, Chris Drigger from Florida. I do think uh, Seattle's going to draft uh, Dreger and sign him. Um, I'm curious to see what they're going to do with players like Braden Holtby and Jake Allen because there's a lot of goaltenders out there and there's a lot of teams looking for them. But I have a feeling this is going to trickle in over the next 24 hours until they're officially released. Florida fans know what Drieger brings. That Think about the fact that all three goalies, Spencer Knight, <clears throat> Bob, and Drieger, all played in that playoff series in the first round against the Bolts. How about Miro Haskinen? The eight-year deal that is a whopper, but certainly well-earned. The impact of that deal, the ripple effect for, say, a Kale McCarr or a John Klingberg, what do you think it is? Well, I, I think the biggest thing this year is that a lot of the uh, restricted free agent defensemen, you mentioned McCarr and Haskinen, and we should also throw in Quinn Hughes from Vancouver and Rasmus Dahlin from Buffalo. A lot of them were looking at the Thomas Shabbat deal. And Thomas Shabbat signed an eight times eight deal in Ottawa before his third year. And the agent who did that deal is Ian Pulver, and he also represented Haskinen. And I think all of those players felt that if they signed long term, they should be ahead of what Shabbat got. So as we found out today, Haskinen is the first one of them to sign. Dallas said Haskinen wanted term. He wanted eight years. I think Dallas was very happy to do it. I think this is going to deal going to be a deal that's going to turn out to be great for the Stars. I think that he's a guy who will live up to this. But we know that that number is above eight million. So if Colorado wants to do Makar and if Vancouver wants to do Hughes, they know that they're looking at eight times eight deals. Klingberg will be interesting. I mean, he's got one year left, and obviously he's a very important player to Dallas. Uh, we'll see where this goes here. I, I don't have any information on that, so I don't want to make any wild predictions. But I think the Stars were really happy to get long-term for Haskinen. And I think in the long run, this turns out to be a good deal for them. And he lives up to it easy. He is a special player. So much fun to watch. He's no Ken Danico. <laughs> Absolutely not. He's a... More along the lines of Scott Niedemeyer, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot Friedman, thanks so much. All right, guys. Have a great night.